Welcome everyone to Pivotal Stats, where we talk about data analysis techniques, business intelligence platforms, and much, much more. So let's go. Hey everyone, welcome to the last video of the AI Visual series, where we're gonna cover the Q&A Visual today. Now I've saved this one for the last because in my experience, this one is a real time saver for any user who is interacting with your data set. Now this can be really helpful when you want your user to have some additional views or some additional information about your data set without making any drastic changes to your existing views. This gives the user a functionality similar to a chatbot wherein a user gets to enter their own questions into the Q&A visuals and the visual will respond back not with a text but instead a visual or a data set. Now I'll show you what I mean. In order to insert the Q&A visual into your dashboard or report, all you have to do is come to the insert tab and click on this Q&A feature or else alternatively you can click on this small icon here which says Q&A in the visualization pane. Now this is the default view that you will receive for your Q&A visual. Depending on the data set that you already have in your Power BI, it will automatically give a couple of suggestions that the user can click on to get some kind of visuals. Like you see here, show 2022 movies, compare rank and review, how many years are there, how many time are there, right? So let me click one of them. And this gives me a list of movies that I have in 2022, okay? A user can go ahead and enter something in the ask a question tab here and get desired visual. So let's see how. So I'm going to say top 10 titles by review. So automatically it has created a bar chart for me. Now I can also instruct the visual to give me a different kind of a chart. Let's say in a column chart. So as you see, it recognizes the normal natural language that we humans speak and convert that into the desired output within Power BI. And that's how it utilizes its AI capabilities. Cool, right? Now, this is not the end. Now, let's say you're not the user of the dashboard. You are actually the designer of the Power BI dashboard and you want a quick method to create your charts so that it can save you some time. Okay. So what you can do is you can insert a Q&A visual and type in the prompt that you want to provide to the visual. Once you have received the desired output, what you can do is click on this small icon here, which says, turn this Q&A result into a standard visual. The moment I click it here, it turns that visual into a standard visual of Power BI, right? So that I do not have to specifically go ahead and choose my metrics from all the data sets and create the visual. The visual was created automatically by the Q&A visual and then I converted that to a standard visual. Let me go back. Now, once again, back to this. So as a developer, I know that my column name was title, but user might not know, right? So if I, if I, as a user, if someone writes, give me top 10 movies by rating, although it, it has given me some results, but this might not be the correct value. The reason is it is an AI natural language model and it has some predefined words that are added to its database. Okay. As a developer, if we want to make it more effective for the user, we should definitely consider adding more synonyms to its language model. Okay. And how do we do that? We click on this add synonym button here at the top. Now you'll see a new prompt here. And in that new prompt, there would be a tab called field synonyms. And this is the tab where we choose which all tables that you want your model to include in your Q&A results. Right now, all the tables that I have in my model or in my Power BI has been by default added into it. But let's say I only want to include 2022 movies and nothing else. So I'm just gonna turn off all the other radio buttons and then I can click on this small arrow button. Now I see all the columns that I have in that particular table, like actor, actor one, actor two, director, genre, inline block, right? So let's add some synonyms to this. Let's say this inline block can also be termed as rating or it can be termed as ratings. Okay. Similarly, this title column can also be called as movie 
or movies okay and it gets added to your language model okay and even within a table you can choose if you want to exclude a certain column from your language model like for example let's say i don't want the model to consider actor 1 2 3 4 <laughs> when it's giving out the results right so i can just turn it off and that's it so i'm going to just close it out and go to my qna visual back again top 5 movies by rating and instead of bar chart let's say in a column chart now let's see some more examples of settings that we have within this when you click on the setting icon here it will give you that same prompt that we saw earlier so field synonyms you already saw uh, you have one called review questions this need you to sign in to your power bi account so we're going to skip this uh, then we have teach q and a wherein you can enter a question about your data using your everyday language right and it will give you a preview this will teach the language model to give appropriate results the manage terms tab records all the terms that we entered into our field synonyms where we were adding our synonyms and it gives you the list here so you can choose to come here and delete anything if you want also suggest a question is nothing but it lets you add certain questions about your data into the model so that people can get a predefined list of questions that they can just directly click instead of writing it similar to what we saw here so we have some default buttons here right so when you add some new questions it gets added to your list so that people can directly come in and click on those buttons to get the desired output now here is a quick pro tip So I'm going to delete this visual and instead I'm going to insert a button here which will be a information button okay So what you can do is you can you know enter any information button or anything else right I right now I'm using an information button but you can cho choose to enter anything else and within that come to the properties tab and there's a tab here called actions turn that on and if you click on the drop down you'll see a drop down called type and instead of this back for the information button i'm going to choose q and a now when you publish this dashboard and people can come in and click on this button okay and they when when they click on it they will see a q and a prompt where they can come in and enter their query so this way you can design your entire dashboard according to your client needs but this gives an additional facility to the user to view some other visual apart from what you have already created for your dashboard so this marks the end of the ai visual series i hope the entire series was helpful i'm going to continue explore the ai capabilities within power bi and try to come up with more videos where i can cover these topics in much more detail where we can use them in a full fledged project so stay tuned for that if you're liking my content then please consider subscribing to the channel and i'll see you in the next one